So now I'm gonna talk about the problem statement, aim, and hypothesis of this experiment. First, problem statement is are phytoremediation plants effective in controlling water pollution? Second, for the aim, to study the effectiveness of phytoremediation plants in controlling water pollution and as for the hypothesis, the roots of common water hyacinth can absorb ammonia found in lake water. For the variables of this experiment, the manipulated variable is the presence of water hyacinths. The responding variable is the reading of ammonia at the end of the experiment. The constant variable is the volume of lake water. The materials needed for this experiment are Icornia recipes or water hyacinths, 10 liter of lake water, 100 milliliter of 10% ammonium chloride solution, tap water, and ammonia test kit. Meanwhile, for apparatus, we only need two glass containers with 5 liter capacity. First and foremost, fill up both of the container labeled A and B with the lake water with around the same amount. The next step, measure 50 ml of ammonium chloride solution and pour it into both of the containers. Since 25 ml of measuring cylinder is used, measure another 25 ml of ammonium chloride solution to complete the amount of 50 ml ammonium chloride solution needed. The same steps is applied on container B. Then, Take and measure 5 ml of the sample which is lake water and pour it into the test tube. After pouring the solution, put in 8 drops of ammonia test A solution into the test tube. After 8 drops of ammonia test A, Drop another 8 drops of ammonia test B into the test tube. Shake the test tube well, though not clearly seen. The color inside the test tube is slowly changing. Using the diagram of ammonia test color, record the initial reading of the ammonia of both containers. And then, put the water hyacinth in the container labeled A and make sure the dirt are removed. Lastly, leave the experiment for 7 to 14 days. After 7 days, use the same ammonia test for both sample of lake water in container A and B. Take a sample of 5 ml of the solution and pour it into test tube. Using same steps, put in 8 drops of ammonia test A and B into the test tube. Shake well and record the final reading of ammonia in container A. The same steps is applied to determine the final reading of ammonia in container B. Now for the results. As you can see, the reading of ammonia at the beginning of the experiment for class container A and container B are 3. And at the end of the experiment, Glass container A is 1 and glass container B is still 3. For the conclusion, the hypothesis is accepted.
the roots of common water hyacin can absorb ammonia found in lake water. Okay, so now uh, is for the discussion part. Okay, so uh, question one: uh, Why must the common water hyacinths be washed first? Uh, the answer is to remove all dirt from the roots. Uh, second, name another plant that can absorb ammonia from water. The answer is lamina species and hydr hydrilla species. And uh, the last question is what is the effect? What is the effect of ammonia towards the aquatic ecosystem? Uh, the answer is it disrupts the food chain in aquatic system. So that's all from me. Thank you. Well, that's all from us. Thank you for watching. Hope this video helped you in any way.